So, uh, Philadelphia game. Uh, as as I Thank mentioned, you. I thought it was definitely in our top two performances. It was the first mm-hmm. game that I was at that um, or watched, right? That I wasn't just overly stressed the entire time. Um, what was what was your rating of that game compared to? say the Charlotte or other games where we play pretty well. I thought it was our best game of the season. Um, Obviously not only was it against a very good Philadelphia team, they were the hottest team in the league. They, I think they were seven wins and two ties coming into the game in their last nine. Um, So, (laughs) you know, that was a very, very hot Philadelphia team and we made them look really bad, which actually goes to this whole thing. We've been saying the whole season, right? We have been saying the entire time, that our talent, particularly up front, if you would just get it right defensively and don't give up easy goals, or maybe even if you recycle the ball up high, we look terrific. Now, obviously, Papa Giorgio went down, but before he went down was the best period that we looked in the whole season. Yeah. And yeah, like we said, for pounding the desk a million times, fullback stay back, at least most of the time. We never really did that all season. Um, And uh, yeah, this, this... three in the back, right. Forces us to do that. So there we go. Yeah. I mean, and, I, and if we're able to bring in some of the right signings, you'll be even happier. Yeah. I mean, if, if we get what you say, we're going to get, and I think, I think I took that. Well, bet. Carmen, I, did you note that bet? Did uh, you type it down? What, what in was your the phone? Bet? Sorry, one thing, yeah, I think that we're going to get two more high quality two, two versus one. You think it's going to be a right for like white right, right winger i think so but either way i think the bet's not really what where they're going to be it's it's one versus two okay well i mean this is kind of like, clearly there's going to be one big signing right mm-hmm. and whether that's big as in a dp or just a very good player yeah we certainly should be expecting that right but then is there one that's roughly you know on the heels of that um Maybe I still think if you have one big signing, it should be, it's a better off being, you know, a box to box midfielder, right? That's where we really need to help. Although now we're still, we get this issue, you know, even do we have a a left back? (laughs) (laughs) I don't really understand what the rationale behind getting rid of Gutman is. I mean, I guess if you're going to go consistently to five in the back, Right then, Wiley becomes that. What that does Goodman get paid? I don't think he was making that much. Sure. But that's my point: is they're they're trying to free something up, free money, yeah. which you, you free money yeah. up, uh, or okay. or there's an upgrade at left back, right? That, that those would be the only reason. Why would you get rid of Gutman? That if I think you're right to... in that it's to free up money. Yeah, because there there's a big player coming that they need that money for. Right, that's what I think. And, and Gutman was, and, a... and so you don't need that for a designated player. Because you can spend as much as you want on a designated player. Look at you oh, using logic nice. over there, Mikey. I, like, I that. like it. I like that. I like that, but I still don't think so. <laughs> yeah. think okay, so. but but then why? Makes would, sense. But then why would they get rid of Gutman then? To bring in another left back that's amazing. I don't know. Yes. Okay. So All I think right. I think I'm right on this one. Bet is recorded. I hope you're right. Yeah. I hope you're right, as I would like okay. to be wrong. If if. I am right. Then you have to keep bringing wine to the podcast every yeah. time you come. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be happy to. I'll be happy to be wrong. Be happy to be wrong, Mikey Dobbs. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, well, fun game. Yeah. I mean, you know, just sitting there watching, uh, you know, the the the, the opportunities Almada creates. Just it's fun. Um, the- there was one terrible, awful, no good thing in the game. Uh oh. Yeah. When Papa Giorgio went down, who came on? Oh, I don't. I, you know, I, I talk <laughs> about it so much. Um, uh, and for, yeah, but for anybody who's, God. who's out there, who's defending Miguel Barry, you don't know what you're watching, period, the end. Like, I just will go there at this point. Yeah, I agree. There's all, really nothing that he said. All that I'm doing at this point is watching him in every movement he makes in the field to the point of just torture. Cause it's, it's, it has to be depressing for like some USL kid that, you know, is hungry to come up into the MLS and and play that position, right? They can do it well. So in the first half, in injury time, so Barry had come on, whatever he came on, it was like 30 minutes in, 40 minutes in, whatever it was when Papa Giorgio went down. So he's absolutely fresh against the other guys who've been playing already 35 minutes, right? Uh-huh. So you're thinking, you know, the fastest guy in the field, right? Almada makes an app. 
absolutely stunning switch to Lennon, who made a great run into the corner, right? So he's free in the corner. What does Lennon, I'll ask Carmen, what does oh, Lennon do when he's free in the corner? When who's free? When, who's when free Lennon again? has run forward and he gets the oh, ball he and he's under it. no pressure, he crosses, he crosses the, ball. the ball. What do we have here, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? I mean, this is like the most obvious answer in the world, right? And so if you have Barry and that happens, what he should be doing? <laughs> Maybe getting the box. Crashing. Crashing as hard as you can into and, the... And, and he was just standing at the top of the box. He had just come on the field and he's standing at the top of the box when the only everybody in the planet knew Lennon was going to cross that ball. Oh, do you want me to go on fire too on top of it? Because oh, what oh, hey. did this happen? Is, yeah, yeah hit, that, hit that button again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, I moved the, uh, the, oh, the panel. Oh. <laughs> See, that was truly on fire. <laughs> um, yeah, the soundboard's off, off one thing, so I'm, uh, okay. I'm tricking you there. But no, in the Montreal game, Dave, there was like late in the game, somebody oh, recycled it out to uh, Almada, and Barry is standing at half field with him. And, and what does Almada do? He explodes to take on three players. And <laughs> what does Miguel Barry proceed to do other than just jog behind and just watch like me in the stands? Uh, is he going to score? Is Almada going to score? Like he couldn't sprint equally with him and try to like take a defender away, at least take one of the players that Almada was going to have to beat on his own. He had every possibility to run and keep up with Almada to create some sort of distraction or maybe get a goal. And he just chose to sit back and watch. I you know what's even more egregious? In the 34th minute, I don't know if you remember this play, but Almada was in the middle and he looped the ball against the run. He looked like he was facing this way, but he kind of he looped it over to Lennon. It was an absolutely stunning ball into the box. Yeah. So Lennon gets the ball and he's was runs, that, is that the one he brought it down? He brought it down yeah. and he shot it to the far yeah. coast oh, and yeah. he missed by about a foot. Yeah, yeah. it was a okay. beautiful take by Lennon, by the way. Yes, but you know what should have happened? That he should have been standing there going, pass it to me on the far post. He, there should have been a tap-in in the middle of the goal, uh, right? Because yeah. he's coming in. The goalkeeper has to take away that. Yeah. He had a bad angle. What he should have done was slide it across. You know what Barry did on that play? I do. He, he actually he was way late on his drop back there. Like, and it, just, it basically was not in an angle where Lennon could have. He easily. checked up his run for a ball towards the top of the box. <sighs> You're like, uh, I mean, that's fine yeah. when you're in a certain crossing situation, whatever. But when he's in alone like that, right? You gotta, I mean, it's you gotta go for that tap in at the in the middle yeah. of the, the box, like he's like at sixes and sevens. I, it's like what the. <laughs> well, also, I, I again with your question, like how if many? That's Papa Giorgio. He makes that run oh, and he taps oh, it in absolutely. every time. And Lennon would have played that ball. He's yeah. good at that. Yeah, I agree. Like, come and, on. And people. also, like, I'd love to know if there's a site out there. I think there is. It has stats on like more granular stuff, like how many touches uh -huh. has Miguel Barry had. But I think from memory <laughs> that we can serve the pretty close answer to this. Like, how many headers has Miguel Barry had at his, with his frame? I can remember zero. I do remember I him remember being zero. called off a ball any. by one of the other that. team's defenders I I that, that he was going to head the ball. The does corner, that, corner does that kick count? header in this last game was Sosa that almost went in off of the corner kick, but Barry wasn't on it. Yeah, I have no memory. I tell you what, the other thing is in the Philadelphia game, so pretty early in the Philadelphia game, right, um, Chop breaks down the right side, right, he – Plays the ball into Almada at the top of the box. And for once, Almada makes a really bad touch. He wanted it. I don't know what he was trying to do, but he made a bad touch. But his bad touch actually went right to Barry at the penalty spot. I mean, right to Barry. He got a chance to take two steps in. And do you remember what he did? Oh, nothing, I'm sure, because <laughs> nothing resulted in it. He shot it. He tried to shoot I it. I remember this. And... He got so over the ball, he hit it into the turf, directly into the turf, and it barely rolled to the goalkeeper. Yeah, that was bad. It didn't take – I looked at it like six times. I'm like, maybe it took a bad bounce. No, he just got so over the top of it, he couldn't get his feet right, and he just kicked it straight into the ground, and it basically dribbled right to the goalkeeper from the penalty spot. 